Christmas time, oh Christmas time, oh welcome all to the tinsel and the lights. Oh Christmas time, it's Christmas Eve, Merry Christmas to you and to you a good night. Hi Dad. Hi honey, I'm almost finished. We're finally going to go buy our Christmas tree. Hey guys, look at this. Ooh. Well I wonder what I'm going to get for Christmas. What I'll get to give at Christmas Every bell that rings sings Give my love away Oh my heart is warming With my friends before me On, On the nicest, nicest kindest Christmas, Christmas life Shiniest givingest of days Give love away I already gave A smile on every face, a slow or simpler pace, a spirit we embrace with tidings full of cheer. We give a helping hand to every fellow man, just try you'll see you can make every difference here. How's the collection coming? Ha! Ah, we're getting plenty of food to share with the less fortunate. <laughs> hey, Jimmy! Hey, Junior! What's up? It's only the most exciting night before the most exciting day of the whole year! Santa? Gifts? Reindeer? I'm so excited I can finally stand it! Me too! Me three! What you guys doing? Every Christmas Eve, my grandparents give me one gold coin, and I'm allowed to spend it on whatever I want! There's too much to choose from, and I don't even know what Santa's bringing me. Well, I hope it's gonna be a happy Christmas. Ding, 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 ding. I hope I feel the way I feel too. Ding, 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 ding. With my gifts around me, will I be astounded? Will it be the neatest, merriest, greatest, best of Christmas days? Best of Christmas days! Oh, we hope it's gonna be a happy Christmas. I'm gonna get some more sheep. I can hardly wait. Merry Christmas to me. You broke your truck again. This is a going to cost you. Do you have a loaner I could borrow? I have to deliver those packages tonight or else. Oh, sure. I have a sleigh with a reindeer out back. What do I look like, a Santa Claus? Can you fix it tonight? You want me to work on a Christmas Eve? Cost you double. Cash only. But I won't get paid until I finish the deliveries. I'll lose my job. Dad, what's happening? How is this my problem? If you can't pay, then go away. We are close. My truck! Come back after Christmas! With cash. What about our tree? We have to find your mother. I have an idea. Laura's dad should ask Santa for a new truck. Uh, Junior, I'm not sure you realize how this works. No, he's got it right. We have to be good. Santa brings us stuff. It's the circle of Christmas, Bob. Let me ask you this first. What's Christmas about? Santa! Family! Presents! Big turkeys, juicy hams, and sweet potatoes with those little marshmallows on top. <laughs> I haven't had dinner yet. <laughs> oh, baby Jesus! Wait a minute. What does Santa have to do with baby Jesus? Now that's a great question. Let's find out. Do you know what Santa's real name is? Santa's real name? I'll give you a hint. 
Up on the housetop, click, click, click. Down through the chimney comes... Old Saint Nick. Nick! Or try this one. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that... Saint Nicholas soon would be there! Right again! So, who's the Saint Nicholas? That's Santa's real name. Bob, a little heads up. Santa's real name is Santa. It's fairly self-explanatory. It looks like I need to tell you all the story of Saint Nicholas. Here you go. Take it. It's a gift. Oh, really? Thank you, lady. Back before the days of Constantine, when the emperors of Rome were nasty me in a grimy sounding country that was fairly clean. Greece, Greece, Greece. In the land of Saganaki and feta cheese of Plato, Aristotle, and Socrates, where you could have a toga party if you pleased. Nice toga. A body stove. That's thank you in Greece, Greece, Greece. Greece is the home of Nicholas, Nicholas, Nicholas. Now we're in the song before you're sick of us. Greece, Greece, Greece. Caught a lot of fish, Captain? Huh? Your father will be pleased. He and I are going to catch even more when we go fishing today. Oh, oh, I bet you will. Who's that? That's young St. Nicholas. Wait, that's Santa Claus? It can't be. We're nowhere near the North Pole. Oh, does he go on an adventure? Does he get swept out to sea while trying to save an elf? Hold on, little elf. I'll save you. Grab hold of my sleigh. Are you done? Just trying to move the plot along, Bob. Nicholas grew up here with two parents who loved him very much. He had no need that went unmet, and he was happy. Nicholas, it's a time for church! Dad and I are gonna go fishing as soon as church is over! Oh, all right. Does he live in a church? In the third century, most people worshipped in homes. Did they also have Christmas in the summer? Because it doesn't feel very festive around here. Well, it's not Christmas time yet. I mean, a wreath or something. Huh? I'm telling you, I said it and it was there. Of course it was. It's our story and we're telling it. Oh. Now quiet, they're praying. Please comfort him in this trying time and heal him from his sickness. Amen. And now let us sing. Hey, Nicky boy, sneaking out before the party? This could go on for hours. Don't call me Nicky boy. I think it's nice, Nickel Stick. Your parents are always thinking of others, always giving. I guess. I'll be outside. Or you could help me give away all this fish. Sing with heart and voice and never cease. To praise with one accord the God of peace. Friends, may God's blessing be with you all. And also with you. And now, who's hungry? I made a baklava. Who needs a honey rush? So, how about those Olympics, eh? <laughs> Wasting away, yeah. More fish. Whoa! <laughs> Octavius, next time, hold the anchovies. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, shovel, rake, Ho, ho, ho. Oh, fishing poles. There they are. Thank you. Let's call me. Blessings be with you all. Time for fishing? Time for fishing. Not very Christmassy, Bob. Shh. This conversation is important. Needs lights. Twinkling lights. You know, Jesus said we are fishers of men. I told you, Captain, we'd catch more fish than he did today. Nicholas, are you listening to me? What? Sure. You said something about fishing. Nicholas, this is important. We are called to be God's hands and feet on this earth. 
See that widow cleaning laundry years ago, she fell quite ill. Had no coin to give the doctor, someone secret paid her bill. See that merchant selling jewelry, he once trod a treacherous road. Someone came beside the man and helped to bear his heavy load. I can love because God loved Nicholas. Are you listening to me? Wow, get a load of that! Looks like Gustav's got himself a fresh batch of workers. I feel sorry for him. Why? Gustav loves nothing but money. He finds folks who run out of money and out of hope. Then he works them to the bone. Come on! You there! Pick up those oars! Clean this place! Oh, yes, Mr. Gustav, sir. Daddy! Daddy! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no. You are fine. Oh, but, but how will I feed my family? Uh, get off of my ship, you Ooh. fool! Get Daddy! Off of oh, Daddy! Get off of my oh. ship! Let me just show you the feet. Are you okay? Oh, no, it's all right, girls. It's okay. Good man, if it's food you need, just knock on my door and ask for Octavius. He'll see that you don't leave hungry. Oh, thank you, kind sir. My family is in your debt. Take is a charity while you can get it, little man. What are you looking at? Dad, if we keep giving away our fish, will I end up working for Gustav? God has blessed our family with much, but everything we have belongs to him. He wants us to use what we have to help others, what? not to keep it for ourselves. Are you listening to me? And realizing that all the young children of the world deserved a better life, St. Nick resolved to gain weight, grow a beard, and teach reindeer to fly. Not quite. Just testing you. You can't teach reindeer to fly. They gotta eat magic corn. As unfair as it seems, this is the world where young Nicholas found himself. You know, there is no problem. Where are they going? Oh, great piles of codfish! You scared me, Nicknack! Don't call me Nicknack. The woman's husband is sick. They're going to help. It seems everyone's getting sick these days. They should stay at home. What if they get sick? Oh, you'll know your parents. Wherever there's a need, they'll be there. Now get to sleep, you little halibut. Don't call me halibut. Nickerdoodle? No. Nick Jr.? Please don't. Nicky Bopper? Make it stop. Okay, Nicholas. So, anybody up for some hot cocoa? Is that the end? It's kind of a European ending. We're left with more questions than answers. Uh, that's it's not the end of the story. We're just coming up to the, uh, the sad part. The sad part? What happens? Is this the part where they don't let Rudolph play in their reindeer games? That's so insensitive. No, it's about Nick's parents. Why would Nick's parents want to play reindeer games? N not that, Larry. Something happened to Nick's parents. What? Well, they did get sick, and they... They what, Bob? Well... What happened to Nick's parents, Bob? Well, a great sickness came through their town. They... Bob? They died. While Nicholas was still a boy, both of his parents died. He still had plenty of food and a nice house to live in, but he was an orphan, a boy with no parents. Oh, Nicholas, I am so sorry. What am I going to do now? You could answer the door. Hello, Nicholas. What do you want? There's no need to be rude, Nicholas. I'm here to help you. Won't you excuse us? I have uh, some business with that boy. Fine, don't mind me. I'll just be sitting at the dock of the bay, wasting time. I suppose you know you have to run your father's fishing business now, Nicholas. That's a big job. What do you mean? I was just thinking about all those poor, sick, hungry people your parents were always helping. What about them? Well, with your parents gone, who will help them? It's going to take a lot of money and a lot of fish. Please, please my family. My family. Sure, I, I guess I could give you some. 
How can you help anyone if you give everything you have away? Your parents are always You better so find in this book some fish. I don't have any more. I have to get out of here. I sure hope you'll find what you're looking for. The story isn't very Christmassy. That's because the ship hasn't landed on Peppermint Island yet, inhabited by Herbie the Yodeling Elf. There's no such thing, Larry. They're sailing to the North Pole. Right, Bob? They don't meet elves, and they don't sail to the North Pole. South Pole? No. Winter Wonderland? Nope. Toys R Us? The happy young boy who had needed nothing now found himself with a great big hole in his heart. Nick and the crew spent several years sailing the Mediterranean, looking for something that would make him feel happy again. Until finally, right around the end of the year, they came to a place called the Holy Land, the place where Jesus was born. Nicholas remembered his father always talking about Jesus, so he decided to go check it out for himself. All right, now we're talking. It's finally feeling Christmassy. Deck the halls with sacred knickknacks. Line our robes with righteous kickbacks. On we holiday a carol. Stroll the holy craze and barrel. la 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 you see, Bob, this is what Christmas is about. Uh, no, Larry, I don't think... See the golden grills before us, swipe your card and join the chorus. Follow us in merry measure, fill your bags with holy treasure. la 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 Very much for coming. La 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 la. Twist the key, enjoy the drumming. Oh boy. La 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 wonder if anything will make me feel happy again. Huh? Where's he going, Bob? Let's see. This is a church built on the exact spot in Bethlehem where Jesus was born. Nativity Chapel? Wow! I wonder if the shepherds stood right here. Larry. I can practically see the wise men. God loves you. Go in peace. God loves you. Go in peace. Excuse me, man. What are you doing? I'm feeding the poor. What are you doing? I'm, um, just standing here. God loves you. Go in peace. Do you do that to feel happy? Oh, no. I do it because I am happy. My love is a gift to them, because God's love was a gift to me. Well, what do you mean? I can love because God loves me. I can give because God gave. Jesus' love is why I'm smiling, why I'm giving every day. When the clouds are dark above me, when the world is cold and gray, I remember how he loves me, and again you'll hear me say, I can love because God loves me, I can give because God gave, Jesus' love is why I'm 
smiling why I'm giving every day. Sister Claire explained to Nick how at Christmas is the time when Jesus came near to us so that he could show everyone how much he loved them. So that's why I give to the poor, Nicholas. I'm so happy about the gift God gave me. And that's why my parents gave, too. Nicholas realized he wasn't alone, and he didn't feel like an orphan anymore. He believed that God sent Jesus for him because God loved him so much, and he wanted to share that love by helping others in need. Suddenly, Nicholas knew what he needed to do. It was time to go home. God loves you. Go in peace. Okay, I'm ready too. Check out the Sea of Galilee muffin pan. You don't bake. Yet. I don't bake. Yet. And now it's time for Helpful Humanitarian Songs with Mr. Lunt. The part of the show where Mr. Lunt comes out and sings a Helpful Humanitarian Song. When he's a mangy or pet, if you saw him, I bet, You'd walk the other way. So sad and alone, with his hair overgrown, like a stinky old toupee. But doggies have feelings, and doggies need love. And doggies like those deep fried treats. That come from up above. Oh, donuts for Peggy. Please give a glaze to make him smile. Thank you, ma'am, for troubled beast. Won't you at least comfort him a while? Sir, can you spare a donut for Peggy? Please help my doggy friend. Thank you, kind sir. A honey dip would really help his broken oh, heart to oh, mend. His broken heart to mend. Well, just look at this pup. <laughs> He's brightening up. Oh, he's looking not so weak. Oh, Benny, his outlook was grim till you gave pastries to him. Oh, look, he wants to speak. Oh, doggies have feelings. Maybe you shouldn't have any more donuts. No, 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 don't give him any more. They make him crazy. This has been Helpful Humanitarian Songs with Mr. Lunt. Tune in next time to hear Mr. Lunt say, Don't give donuts to dogs! Thank you for your devoted service, Captain. It's good to be home! You're welcome, young Nicholas. It's good to be home. Gustavs? <gasps> Gustavs? Gustavs? Gustavs! Don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Oh no, ma'am, I won't. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, Trangle before the great and mighty mayor Gustav! Mayor Gustav? Now, therefore I, a Mayor Gustav, do hereby a decree, no citizen shall give from one to another a gift of any kind or any value, 
anyone caught in a violation of its decree shall be subject to a fine of one gold coin. And if they cannot pay, they will be put in jail. Forever! This is gonna make it hard for me to help others. Octavius, I'm home! That's great! Who are you? <laughs> That's a good one! Get back! I know how to use this! It's good to see you, my old friend! This would be a lot more tender if I knew who you were! It's me, Nicholas! <gasps> That's for not writing! Octavius, there's so much to tell you, but that can wait. That's for not calling! I came home to continue my parents' work. You see, we don't give to others because it makes us happy. We give to others because we are happy. Because Jesus first loved us. That rings a bell. That's what I learned when I was away. Well, good luck helping people now. Mayor Gustav is making it hard to do all sorts of good things. I heard. But I believe God will show me how I can help others, even when it's not easy. I think I have something that could help. I've saved it for you. It belonged to your father. It's a quote from Jesus, from the sixth chapter of Matthew. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. You know, Nicholas, what most people saw from your father was only the tip of the iceberg. What's an iceberg? I have no idea. The point is, he helped people in so many ways, most of which no one knew about. This is the answer to all our problems, Octavius. From now on, we help people in secret. Righto. <laughs> That's for not bringing me back a souvenir. Here's a muffin man. Oh, the Sea of Galilee! Delicious! Ah, oh, you didn't tell me fish had teeth! I know those girls. Always giving things away. How are people like me supposed to make an honest living when people are always giving things away? But no more! We just have to be patient. Wait a minute. What's this? Aha! This business is in violation of decree 823602-11.20. No giving gifts. Each one of you has three days to pay the fine, or all three of you will go to jail. Maybe if you spent more time working and less giving things away, you wouldn't have a that problem. Three days! <laughs> ah, Nicholas? Is that you? Put on some weight during your travels? Maybe a little. How's business? Fine, as long as you're not back in the giving fish away for free business. I'm at a mayor now, you know. Uh-huh. What's this? That's the third mackerel I found out here today. Who's got the slippy fishy fingers? Who is this dropping my fish on the floor? You drop my fish, you drop them. That was way too close. Did you see how Gustav looked at me? There's got to be some better way of giving things in secret. I have to help those girls. You can hide your real identity. There's got to be something I can wear to hide my real identity. Maybe make some sort of a disguise. Maybe some sort of disguise? Like this, or this, or maybe this. Larry, just moving the plot along, Bob. I've got it. Octavius, we have work to do. Ah! Ridiculous. Come, sidekick. We're off to give in secret. Time to blend in with the night. You'll call this blending? Shh. Oh. Dashing through the street to do a noble deed. Determined in advance to help the girls in need. 
glad and spandex tights, your sidekick's by your side. If you see a soldier, you better run and hide. Nicholas, Nicholas, you are quite a sight. Sneaking round the streets of Greece to help the girls tonight. Nicholas, Nicholas, you know how to live. You see one who has a need and just like Christ you give. Quick, throw me another piece of gold. Uh-uh. Oh, no! Look! See what I found in my stocking! This is wonderful! Who did this? I gotta find a new costume! Nicholas, did you hear? Someone saved my daughter! Now she won't have to go to jail! That, that's wonderful news! I need to find and thank the person responsible! What? Why? Oh, he saved my daughter! I have to thank him! Be careful with that tuna! They'll only grow on trees because if they did, that would be one stinky tree! Well, <laughs> Good luck finding him! Could have been anybody! Oh, Gustav, there you are. One gold coin for my daughter. Oh! You may have saved one, but you still need the coins for the other two, and they won't be so lucky. What makes you so sure? I'm posting guards around the old man's house tonight to catch this secret to give. I will not be made a fool! Oh! Oh, for goodness sake. Don't say a thing. Helpful young St. Nicholas, slender ain't this way. Helping girls in danger of being locked away. All the stockings you will find hanging in a row. Wait for you expectantly to fill them up with gold. We need to cause a distraction. Like this outfit isn't distracting enough? That's it. Show yourself, then run for it. We'll meet back at the house. What if I get caught? Know that it will be for a good cause. Why does that not make me feel better? Oh no! The place is surrounded! I had better run for it! <clears throat> I said I had better run for it! Gustav wants to catch you to end your helpful ways. So you wear disguises to keep his guards at bay. Girl one got a piece of bling, the others need one too. Don't fail us, young Nicholas, we all be Don't fail us, young Nicholas, we all depend on you. Father, come quickly! Where are you? Who are you? I must thank you! Opa! Nicholas, there you are. Did you hear? A miracle has happened. Despite my house being surrounded, we've been blessed again. My second daughter is safe. That's fantastic. Do you, uh, know who did it? No, but I'm determined to find out. How one, a two, a three, a four, you didn't do your job no more. Oh, here you go, Gustav. Another gold coin. <laughs> who is this mystery man? No matter. Tonight the house will be surrounded by the whole Roman army. If he wants to succeed, he had better fall from the sky. Hey, I kind of like that outfit. Yeah, and me too. It fits. The others were so constricting. The little guy looks like an elf. Is this how it all started? Is there going to be snow? I'd love for there to be snow. No, Larry, there's not going to be any snow. Imagination. Love it. Snow or no snow, no one here is moving until we catch this mysterious giver. Don't worry, my sweet. Whatever angel God has sent to help us will not fail. <gasps> hey, Bob, can the youngest girl's stocking be red? Huh? Can it? No, Larry. Her stocking can't be... <laughs> Why do I even bother? What are you doing? Wait for it. Now it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Men, beyond the alert, we're dealing with a professional. Oh no. Now what are we going to do? There's got to be a way. The chimney! You have got to be kidding me! Up on the housetop in jolly dress, 
Out jumps good old Nicholas Down through the chimney a bag of gold Now these girls can be poor Father, look! Saved! All my girls are saved! <laughs> Impossible! Right under our noses, spread out! Find him! He can't have gotten far! Yes. Down through the chimney oh, a bag of gold Oh, come here girls, oh you're so Ah, ah. Over here! They went this way! He seems to know our every move! You don't think this snow has anything to do with it, do you? Oops. Your imagination is not helping. But it's so festive! <laughs> I think I lost him. There you are. <laughs> there they are. Oh, oh, my bad. I think the story is about to move on for us. They're getting away! Would this be a bad time to talk about my Christmas list? you move your mice. Nobody gets hurt. I beg of you, let me thank you for the brave kindness you have shown to my family. Ho, ho, ho! Don't give it a second thought, my good man. The pleasure was all ours. Well, how can I ever repay you? There's no need. We're just showing you the love God showed us. If you want to repay me, go and do the same thing. That I will, sir. <laughs> that I will! <laughs> You know, I think your father would be proud of you, Nicholas. Thanks a lot, Octopus. Oh, hey, watch it, Nickelback. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do about it, October? Nick knack fatty whack Octagon. Nickel, nickel, eat a pickle. And that, kids, is the story of St. Nicholas. Wow, I had no idea. Not many people do. Tell us about reindeer, Bob. Another time, Larry. We need to head to the Christmas Eve service. Thanks, Bob. I sure learned an awful lot about St. Nicholas tonight. I'm glad, Annie. Hey, Jimmy! What you guys doing? Seriously? Uh -huh. That's a great idea! I'm in. Thank you, Mrs. Hubert, for that lovely rendition of Wild by my sheep. You may have noticed that we're not using candles this year due to the unfortunate incident last year. What in the world is all in that racket? I'm a coming, I'm a coming. This is not coming at all when we're close. What do you want? It's 
this enough to fix the truck? What kind of a joke is it? Take your penny someplace else. We're closed. Will this help? truck that's not even yours. Jesus gave everything. When we know how much Jesus loves us, it makes us want to share his love with others, just like St. Nicholas did. I was going to use this to buy a new pair of Christmas socks <laughs> and for my collection. Well, you're still a dollar short. my packages. Wow, I can't believe it. This is amazing. It's a Christmas Mom, morning. Dad, look in the house. I remember it's beautiful. Thank you, Daddy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I can love because God loves me. I can give because God gave. Jesus' love is why I'm smiling.
that's on you You have the power To give someone home Far beyond their wildest dreams What if the 